What's up, CEOs? So my apologies for today's training being a little late. I've had to change the times that I'm taking appointments for different things. And so I've had to, um, and some of my appointments run over. So then it makes me late for other things, right? But I had to come here today. I had to make sure I got here because I have a very important message for you. This is what every successful, successful dealer needs, okay? So if you wanna see this video live while we're waiting for people in the Facebook group to get notifications, I wanna to talk to you about the Facebook group. We hold this video live in the Facebook group. It also is a place where you get to hear it first there, uh, whatever is happening at the Auto Dealer Business School. Like if we have a new class or um, if I'm looking for what to teach you next, then I'll ask the Facebook group, etc. So. Uh, long story short, it's a good idea for you to join. I'll put the link in the descriptions for you to join, especially if you're trying to build your business, right? So you can get the info you need. So I'm Shamel Leonard. I started the Auto Dealer Business School because I felt like there needed to be an Auto Dealer Business School to help newbie auto dealers to be successful because this business is so dangerous. Like if you don't know what you're doing, dangerous in the sense that, I mean, you could lose a lot of money and uh, be in trouble, um, so to speak, really. I mean, not really, so to speak, okay? I don't wanna scare you, but the point is, why wouldn't there be an auto dealer business school to tell you how to be successful? So here I come, starting an auto dealer business school. I share with you the experience that I've had being a dealer and what has made me fail and what has made me succeed, all right? So what's up, Lizette? Uh, Travion, how you doing? Okay, so we have a couple of announcements in the Auto Dealer Business School. We have a 2024 dealer auction masterclass that is ready for immediate access. Okay, so if you are out here at these auctions buying cars for tax season and you don't have the information you need about the auction to make sure you don't buy a bad car or to make sure that you get a car with great profit then you need to take this course if you don't know much about the auction you need to take this course if you don't know how to get out of a deal unwind a deal at an auction you need to take this course okay so i'll put a link in the description for the auction class and then we have a title class coming up can't have an auction class without talking about titles and having a title class all right so i had to do a title class we got a title class coming up soon so if you want to know more information about the title class i'll put a link in the description for you to um get the emails when we have the title class information come out all right so what every successful dealer needs i want to start by saying this up to this moment it has not been your fault if you feel like you have failed or you've been failing or you've been flailing or you know it just hasn't been right it has not been your fault, okay? You simply just did not know what you did not know and nobody can fault you for that, not even yourself. So let yourself off the hook for anything up until now that you may have done or said about yourself or your business that simply isn't true because you just didn't know what you needed to know, okay? But from this moment forward, now it will be your responsibility if you are a successful dealer or not because now i'm going to give you everything it is that you need to know about what it takes to be a successful dealer all right um hey goobing what's up goobin all right so um i want to start with telling you that a successful dealer and a successful business are one and the same but since we have a car business and we have a dealership and we have a car lot or we have a dealer license, right? Whatever you identify with, then in our business, there are certain other things that will help us to be successful, all right? So in our business, we need software. Every successful dealer has the necessary software, the right software, the software they need, okay? So the software means your dealer management software, your DMS, your website, your valuation books, your credit inquiry software, credit pool software, 
um, software to manage your phone, manage your phone calls, direct your calls, uh, your CRM, etc. You need software, okay? You need the software, ETR, ELT, right? ETR, electronic title registration, right? So you need all this software. And I don't wanna say like all this software, like it's a whole bunch of software because a lot of the software is integrated and works together, okay, to make it simpler. But you do need this software, you need um, these systems to help you to run your business, to be able to look at uh, information instantly to know how well your business is doing or if it's not doing well and then what you need to change, okay? So you need software. Any questions, let me know in the comments. You need software. I'm sure uh, one question is, what is all the software? I'm so glad you asked. So there will be a software um, training, a free training that I'm gonna do right here in the Facebook group so that you'll know what software you need to have, okay? So don't even worry about it. I just can't get to it today because it'll make this video too long and then nobody really wanna watch it because <laughs> it'll be too long, okay? But stay tuned for the software video. Make sure you subscribe, uh, like, uh, do all the things to get the notifications, all right? So that's number one, the software. Number two, you need the right inventory. So small dealers or small dealerships, the right inventory for us is inventory that retails for under 15,000. And that is because that is a niche, really, because all the bigger dealerships uh, sell cars starting at around 15,000 and above, okay? So one, we really don't wanna compete with them at this stage in our business because it's difficult to, because we don't have the visibility, the marketing, the systems, the people, the processes, all that. So we need to carve out a niche for ourselves, affordable car market, and we need to stick to that niche and sell those cars. That's cash cars and that's affordable finance cars, okay? The good news is right now is our time to shine because of the economy. There are lots of people who are looking for affordable cars. They're looking for cash cars. They're looking for a dealer that they can trust to sell it to them. They're looking for something that they can finance for just a couple of hundred dollars a month um, with uh, third party financing, okay? So this is our time to shine, okay? So there is no limitation by limiting ourselves to a certain niche, okay? That the limit is honestly focus. So you you and your business should focus on cars under 15,000 retail. Any questions, let me know. For whatever reason, I can't see them right now, but I will get back to you in the comments, okay? Leave them in the comments. So that's number two, the right inventory. Number three, money for inventory you need two types of monies you need money to buy inventory you need money to get inventory ready okay so to buy inventory if you don't have cash then you need a floor plan so that you can buy inventory if you have a floor plan and a little bit of cash your little bit of cash can be used to help to get the cars ready okay so to have a floor plan you have to be credit worthy uh and credit worthy means you have to have decent credit, you know, pay things on time, etc. And you also uh for some of the the floor plan companies need to submit bank statements. So then you'll need to make sure you're not you're managing your bank statements, not commingling funds. You're using it only to pay for things that are related to your dealership, okay? I want to give you all this little bit of information because if you go and you apply for a floor plan, they're gonna look at what your transactions are. And of course, no NSFs, okay? Hey, Robert, what's up, Vincent? All right, so that's the other thing. You need money for inventory, and if you don't have the cash, get a floor plan, because you'll need it, all right? Especially if you can qualify for it, you'll need it. But be careful, okay? And I will make sure you know how to use your floor plan. The next thing you need is a display space. So our states that require dealers to have display space before they even get licensed, y'all have a leg up on the states that only require an office, right? I know everybody is like, oh, why am I state? Do I have to have display space? I just wish I could just have an office. It really is doing you a favor because you need that display space to put cars for sale. If you have a display space, you don't have to worry and do all the things that office dealers have to do when they have inventory, like park cars at home, 
uh, you know, park cars, wherever you can park cars, right? And then having to transport cars to the office to, you know, to sell them, to meet a customer, right? You don't have to worry about any of that. Your display space is next to your office. You go to the office, you sell from your display space, and it's easier for you, okay? So office dealers, if you don't have a display space, you need to get a display space. And it doesn't necessarily need to be connected to your office at first. So you can get a display space offsite, okay? That's just where you're uh, keeping your cars, okay? But whatever it is, you do need a display space, all right? So any questions, let me know, all right? You need lenders, okay? You need to have lenders other than your own financing. So our, your own financing is called buy here, pay here. All right. You don't need that to start unless you have buy here, pay here money. <laughs> okay. If you don't have buy here, pay here money, you need outside lenders, third party lenders. Okay. And then to go with the lenders and after you buy the inventory, then you need leads to get quick sales. Okay. And leads are from places like True Car, Car Gurus, Carfax, etc. All right, you need to buy one of their packages and get leads, or you need to do your own advertising for leads, okay? Or connect with the Auto Dealer Business School for leads because we also provide leads uh, to our annual members, all right? So you need leads. I'm almost there, right? I know you're probably like, dang, I need a lot of stuff. <laughs> but this is all the stuff that makes up a successful dealer or a successful auto business, all right? So after the leads, you need to have some helping hands, all right? You cannot be the only one in your business forever. So yes, in the beginning, it may just be you, but you have to have a plan to add uh, helping hands. You have to add people into each process so that you one day can become an absentee owner and be on a yacht or a boat somewhere chilling or a beach somewhere or a mountain, whatever your flavor is, chilling while your business is still making money and selling great cars that your customers are happy about. All right. So you need to get helping hands. And, and the last thing, part of those helping hands is you do need a mentor. All right. I, I think I've he been hesitant to say, that I, I'm your, I'm the best mentor for you, but it's been revealed to me that I am. And the reason I am is because the way that my dealership has had to grow up has been from the mud. Okay. I was not given many things to get my dealership up and going. I started with a small budget. I had a hope and a dream, right? And I had to figure it out from there. And while all these other people, and I've watched them, you know, they have good advice. That advice is for deeper pockets and it is for um, people with more time. So more resources altogether, right? That advice will bankrupt you. That advice will have you stagnant because it does not tell you how to go start from where you are right now. Like where I am right now, what's my next step? That's what I am able to give and bring, okay? So yes, you need a mentor because there are some very important steps that you need to make along this way, along your journey, along the way. And I know those steps to take because I have gone that same path and I got you, right? So yes, if in the past you, um, you know, have just tried to figure it out yourself, you're losing money because you're losing time. All right. So if you have a display space and um, you have your inventory money or you can qualify for a, a, a floor plan, then you need to join the annual membership of the Million Dollar Dealer Club. And why the annual membership? Because it has been proven now that the ones who join the annual membership are the million dollar dealers, okay? They have reached million dollars in revenue. They have reached six figures in a monthly income, okay? Because of the things that they they get with the yearly membership. So if that is something that you're interested in, I will offer you a free strategy session. What is the strategy session about? So glad you asked. It will help you to see what your next steps are. We can talk about what your plan is, if this is a good part of your plan, and if you have what it what you need to succeed, okay? And if you don't, then how to get it, all right? So I'm offering this to you right here 
for free. My time and a great plan. It won't always be free. So make sure to schedule your strategy session right away. All right, CEOs. So any questions, please do put it in the comments. Hey, Venus. Hey, Juana. I think that's Juana or Juana. Lacane. Hey, Robert. So good to see you all here. Let me know if you have any questions, okay, about what a dealer needs to succeed. We have a um, very good and growing dealer community that is valuable to all the dealers uh, in the Million Dollar Dealer Club, all right? And um, Lacane is, is part of the group. Demetri is part of the group as he gets his license and it is it really does speed up the time that it takes for you to learn everything you need to learn there is a learning curve in this business and it is at least two years so if you want to skip the two-year learning curve if you're like 2024 needs to do some things for me okay this year needs to do some things and it needs to do some things fast then this is the fast path to go all right i'm always praying for your success but if after this moment that you know that everything that dealer needs, um, that a dealer needs to be successful and you still don't take action to get the things that you need to be successful, then my prayers are dead because I need you to take the actions, all right? I'm always here uh, rooting for your success. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you next week for a free training. We're going to be talking about everything that I listed here to be successful so that you will know and have all the information you need, all right? Be blessed. See you soon.